Okay guys, good even uh, evening, and yeah, Hurricane Arthur is about to make its landfall in eastern North Carolina. And, um, uh, and yeah, we just got new information from the National Hurricane Center that it is now a Category 2 hurricane. Um, let's go over the stats with you. Um, winds of up to 100 miles per hour, that's low in Category 2. Pressure 976, so we're still seeing a drop. Um, north, moving, still moving north northeast at 15 miles per hour, so we haven't really had a strong eastern component yet. Now, let's take a look at what we got going on right here. Um, you see all these showers and thunderstorms that you used to notice right here? It was really looking good at the beginning of the first. Actually, no, let's put on a different type of imp. Let's put on a, yeah, that might work a little bit better. Once it, once we can get it to load. Um, I really want to start, I really want to, um, just give you guys, walk through it step by step with you guys. Um, whoa! No, 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 no. Anyway, um, whoops, let's walk through step by step. Okay, you notice right here, it looked really good, like your classic hurricane. You see you got the eye right in the middle right there, classic looking convection all the way around, a pretty solid eye wall. But as we move through the next few frames, and to mind you that that's this time, this was a Category 2 hurricane, Category 1 hurricane rather, you notice uh, there's a little bit of an appendage right here. You notice that that's some dry air trying to work in the system. It kind of may have disrupted, we thought it dis may have disrupted the core, but it turns out it was not the case. And most recently we had a big blow up of convection right around the northern eye wall and it's probably trying to going to be wrapping around make its final attempt to wrap around before it makes landfall and that northern eye wall boy once that moves on shore and we're looking at landfall around Moorhead City once that moves on shore it's going to pack a big punch some sustained hurricane force winds prob possibly gusting close to around 100 miles per hour or higher it's going to be packing a big punch once it moves on shore and as it tracks over extreme eastern North Carolina and Outer Banks and this is not good for the Outer Banks because mind you this is going to be there they're going to be on the eastern quadrant and that's where we're going to find the strongest winds and that's not good either because we're once because we'll have an on onshore flow from the ocean side and that is going to cause some overwash on the roadways some sand overwash on the roadways and you guys probably might not have a any way of getting out so um is it for a little while so folks so folks down there really need to pay attention um if you guys should have decided to stay pay, please pay attention to the one well, of the weather reports and pay attention to um stay tuned for upcoming updates so do keep that in mind now look now um, i want to see want to show you what's the kicker and i really think it's a really good representation of what's going on really good representation i can um Western Atlantic, let's see, Eastern, oh, perfect, 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 perfect. You know it right here, this is, see this line of showers and thunderstorms extending, this is a water vapor loop. See this line of showers and thunderstorms right here, basically extending all the way from the northeast down here? It's like picking up, this is, look at this, it's picking up Arthur and trying to scoot it northeast like a spoon. But it's not going to be enough before it makes landfall in North Carolina, but um, this is what's, the kicker. This is what is basically kicking out. Look, look at this. This is acting like the boot. And it's going to kick Arthur to the northeast. Well away. Now uh, once it moves offshore North North Carolina, it's going to move well away and be a threat to maybe northeastern Canada. And maybe parts of northeastern Canada, Canadian Maritimes, those areas. So, um, so again, um, significant. So, so far we haven't had too many, many, much in the way of significant issues. The worst of the weather has just barely stayed, in fact, the worst, worst of the weather has barely stayed offshore, but uh, now it looks like um, the worst, the eye wall is now finally going to be beginning to move onshore um, very shortly here around the Crystal Coast, around the Lake Beach, Moorhead City. You guys are about to get whopping as the strongest winds are about to move onshore. So do keep that in mind. And you know, so yeah, this is a good representation right here. This is no uh, the wind, the, everything coming in from the south. That's where the direction the winds are coming from. Going to pile up all that water against the Arab Bank. So this is not going to be a good situation. And you keep in mind too, once it wraps all the way back around, you're going to have um, storm surge coming in from the south side. So you're going to be surrounded, basically. So keep that in mind. All right, um, let's take a look at some. 
although I think it's a little bit dark here, but um, too dark to see any of the surf. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's too dark to see anything. I don't know if power is knocked out or not. I think there's still have power, but um, let's take a look. I think Carolina Beach might be interesting. Nah, um, but anyway, um, you get the idea. Um, the surface, we have been watching this, the cams lately, and is this the surface really begun to kick up. So, But what does it mean for us here in Richmond? Well, we have actually seen a little bit of rain this evening, and it's been compliments of the outer bands of Hurricane Arthur. And the combination with the front that is scooping up, um, with the, um, in combination with the front, um, that is scooping, um, Arthur back out to sea. Now, let's take a look. So, um... And we, we might be dealing with those showers and thunderstorm threat throughout the rest of the evening tonight um, and into early tomorrow. But I think 4th of July plans look pretty good. Um, now, for Southeast Virginia, you guys look to be in, in some trouble tonight. Might have a, a few other, a uh, um, couple of hours where we might have to deal with some tropical storm force winds or gusts, what have you, with some heavy rain. But um, it should be brief and not cause some issues. Although some um, scattered power outages are possible, a slight water rise, maybe one to two foot storm surge, not really significant. Just stay off the beach. That's all I have to say. Um, so, and, and if you live in the lying area, please be aware and please um, um, to the changing conditions. Well, folks, enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay safe out there. And um, if you live out in North Carolina, um, hope you guys ride it out. Have a good one.